What up, dope world? It's your boy Mo Ager. We back once again with another episode of In the Zone with Mo Ager. We out here, man. Hopefully, you guys are having a good week thus far. Yeah, so this past weekend, we did the celebrity basketball game with Trevor Ariza. Went really well. It was fun. Had an opportunity to kick it with some of my favorite celebs like Lazy Bone, Steve Lobel, Trevor Ariza. Lil Romeo was there. It was cool. Had a cool little 36 points. Light, light, but that's beside the point. We were there for a good cause, charity. So big ups to Trevor Le Tre Trevor Reeves, I'm sorry, for such a wonderful turnout. I'm gonna talk to you guys real quick, briefly, about how important it is to love and how important love is in our lives and what you can do if you actually implement it into your life. That's love. That body of water, that's love, man. But yeah. So basically one day, I was complaining. I was just having a rough morning, a rough day. I was just complaining about everything and just upset, mad the whole day. So we ended up going to uh, a friend's engagement party later on throughout that day. And I was just upset. I don't even know why. You know, sometimes when you're in bad moods, you just don't know where it's coming from. You're like, man, why am I so mad today? So. We get there, and this lady, she like 97 years old. I mean, but you wouldn't, she looks really good for her age. Hold on, let me wait for this truck to go by. It's FedEx, man, he loud. All right, yeah, but she was like 96, 97 years old. And so for, for some odd reason, she continued to talk to me, continued to talk to me. I'm like, all right, cool, hey. Nice little cute little old lady, she was great. And we just end up having conversations. I end up speaking to her throughout the whole little engagement party. She was so cool. But one thing that stood out to me was, for one, she was 97. And she looked really good. She looked healthy. She was alert. She moved good, no walker. She was just great, great health. And um, as we continued to have conversation, I just started asking her, I'm like, hey, what's your hobbies? I'm like, you like movies? She said, I love movies. I like. You like music? I love music. I like you like peanut butter? I love peanut butter. I was like, man, love. And I just saw it in her eyes. It was genuine. And I felt it in my soul. I felt her energy. And I'm looking at this lady. She's 97 years old. And I'm realizing she made it to be 97 because she just decided to love her life to love every part of it. Every bits and pieces of her life, she loves it. I love mood, I love, I love, love. It was all love, 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 love. So when I walked away from that conversation, I realized I wasn't necessarily loving my day. I wasn't loving as much as I could. So from that point on, I was like, man, that was a wonderful lesson. They say we can learn some of the most valuable lessons from our elderly. And that was a great lesson for me. So my question for you, are you loving yourself today? Are you loving others as yourself today? Because I can almost guarantee you, one thing I know for sure is, I don't know everything. I don't got it, but I get it. You get exactly what you give, real talk. You give love, get it back. If you give compassion, you get it back. I promise you. But it starts from, from yourself. You have to love yourself first. And so many, so often we are always, we're really hard on ourselves. So it's, it's very difficult for us to always love every aspect of our life. But I'm telling you, there's times where we have to really just have that unconditional love for ourselves and continue to give that unconditional love to others and just watch the miracles happen in your life. I promise you. I can almost guarantee you, once you just continue to do it consistently, you can't do it one time, two times, and expect results, but you have to continue to love others as you love yourself. Because we are children of God, ultimately. And we deserve to take care of, take care of each other. Because we come into a point in our lives and in the universe where love is the only emotion that's going to exist, I promise you. Love is the reason why I believe I've been able to be successful and so many things in my life. And I have a long way to go, don't get me wrong. 
I wake up every single day knowing that I love music. I wake up every single day knowing that I love connecting with my supporters on Twitter and Instagram and, and just getting the feedback and stuff like that. That means a lot to me. And by me having love and compassion for what I do and what I'm looking to accomplish in my life, I'm getting wonderful results. And all I'm saying, that can happen exactly for you. So continue to love. There's times where it's very difficult to love. You could be in that argument with your girlfriend. Y'all just going back and forth. Love isn't always, oh baby, I love you, baby. Nah, nah, nah. Sometimes love is just being silent. Sometimes you can be in that argument and it's heated. Y'all going back and forth. You just hit that boiling point to where you like. But love sometimes is silence. Just holding your tongue. Sometimes you love someone or love yourself that much to where you don't, like, I'ma chill. You got it, baby. You, you know what? You got it. You got it. You right. And just not, because you can say something in that heated moment that can destroy everything. And sometimes words, are, oh, I'm not gonna say sometimes, but words are powerful. So it's very important that we understand that love can be silent. Just hold off. Wait for a couple of days and bring it back up when, it's every, when everything's cool. That's love. So my question for you, are you in the zone? Are you in the love zone? If not, then why not, baby? Let's get in the zone. As we evolve, as time evolves, more and more people are beginning to help each other. People helping people is what we, we're here for, to continue to help each other evolve and um, I love you guys. Stay tuned. Album coming out tomorrow, June 25th. That's the zoning album. That joint hard, man. I ain't go front. I love it. I was just zoning on that boy. Be honest with you. I had the spirit moving through me. <laughs> just zoning, baby. But I ain't gonna keep talking your heads off. I love you guys. Continue to stay lifted. Continue to work hard. Continue to understand what you're doing in this life. And keep building, baby. Let's go. It's your boy Mo Ager. Zone. Are you in the zone? Raw footage. Let's go.